What do we do with the high-yielding bond market alternative stocks like the utilities now that interest rates have snapped back dramatically since the beginning of the month and look to be headed higher longer term? I say we have to start looking at them individually to measure their growth prospects so they can break out from maybe the pull of the entire sector. Take Dominion Resources, one of America's largest gas and electric utilities, with a rapidly growing natural gas transmission and distribution business in the Marcellus and Utica shale regions, including a joint venture to build a $5 billion nat gas pipeline connecting these shales to markets in Virginia and North Carolina. On top of that, they're building a natural gas export terminal in Virginia, expected to be up and running in 2017, and they have one of the most consistent records of increasing dividends, including a recent 7.9% boost that gives the stock a 3.5% yield at these levels. Has the bond-related sell-off created a buying opportunity in a high-quality stock? Let's dig deeper with Tom Farrell, the chairman, president, and CEO of Dominion Resources, hear more about where his company's headed. Mr. Farrell, welcome back to Mad Money. Very nice to see you, Jeff. I've got to ask you, Tom, I, we've known each other a long time, and I've followed your stock and been recommending it pretty much since the show began. I have to admit, I was taken aback that it could fall just like any other utility when we had that move. Do you think that one day we'll get to the point where people recognize your superior growth characteristics, your great cash flow, and the fact that you have a better record of dividend boosting than almost all the other utilities? I think so, Jim. I think uh, one of the disadvantages of the low interest rate environment that we've been through in the last few years is there hasn't been much differentiation among utility stocks. The, the PEs are fairly compressed. I mean, ours, are, ours is higher than everybody else's, but the, the, they've been kind of grouped. Uh, and I think as we return to a time when interest rates are uh, going up some, people will still want dividend, dividends from utilities. We'll have to start differentiating among the stocks and what their real growth prospects are. And I think that's where we should do well. Do you think that people recognize also that your area of distribution, your area is remarkable, in part, the growth of it, in part because you have the lowest power costs in the country? We have very low power costs. Uh, <clears throat> we have really good operators at our company. We have four nuclear power stations, four nuclear reactors just in Virginia. We have a couple more in Connecticut. Run extremely well uh, and help provide the backbone of very low power prices to our customers. We had John Chambers on last night, the CEO of Cisco, uh, talking about data center explosion, maybe the fastest growing industry in the world, and of course, this country. You are the data center electric provider, aren't you? Over half the internet traffic in the United States goes through our service territory. Last year alone, we added 14 new data centers. Uh, and this year, we already know of 10 that we're going to add. I think it's interesting. You're the first utility company I saw to actually break out how important cybersecurity is to you. We have CyberArk reporting a great number tonight. FireEye yesterday, Cisco. You guys have, you have to spend on that now these days, don't you? We do. And uh, it's not just cyber we're worried about. We're also worried about physical security uh, of our facilities. So uh, we're concentrating uh, on both sides uh, of the importance. We have uh, important customers. All of our customers are important. We have some that are important to uh, national security. Okay, now the, we got to talk about the LNG business. And it, there was a time when there looked like there may be 15 co different companies that were going to get into the LNG export. Uh, you and, and Chenier had the head start. With the collapse of natural gas prices, do you think you're going to be the last guy out the door? Because I don't know if anyone else is going to get financing other than you and Chenier. It'll be. It'll probably be difficult. I'm, uh, I think I've said all along, Jim, uh, to you on your show, that we, we think it's highly likely we would be the only export facility on the east coast of the United States. Uh, Chenier, of course, facilities are in the Gulf of Mexico, uh, and uh, it's going to be hard to get them permitted and financed. Well, that said, you have, uh, from the work that I've been doing with a couple of energy consultants, Marcellus and Utica looks like it's going to be the lowest cost natural gas in the world with these possible exceptions of Kuwait. So the, the differential, the idea that people think that because oils come down, you will not get long-term contracts is quite wrong. You're already racking up some amazing long-term contracts right now, aren't you? We've sold out our export facility uh, completely for 20 years to two customers, uh, one, in, one in Japan and one in India. See, I, I've been reading and people keep saying, Jim, you're way too bullish because there's no way they can sell all that. But it, it's done, right? These are contracts that are ironclad. They can't be gotten out of. Cannot. Wow. They're all done. And we, we don't ever take uh, ownership of the gas also to right. uh, what people may be saying. The gas is purchased by the customers. We deliver it through our pipe uh, to our facility. We will liquefy it and place it on the tanker for them. Uh, and it's their gas from start to finish. 
Well, I, you know, Tommy, you delivered entirely. I know we didn't even talk about the uh, the drop down that you could have of your limited partnership because that's been a spectacular, spectacular investment, too. But you just delivered everything over and over again, Tom. Thank you so much, Tom Farrell, Chairman, President, CEO of Dominion Resources. Good to see you, sir. Thank you, Jim. Guys, best growth. Re this is the best growth utility in the country. I don't think there's any dispute with that. Stick with Craig.